Hey guys, welcome back to week seven, day three. So today's lesson is gonna be totally weird, totally different than what we're normally used to, but I'm really excited to show you because we are talking all about 3D shapes. So 3D shapes are something that we see every day. Um, and lately we've only been working with flat shapes, which means they don't raise up, they're completely flat and they're not three dimensional, okay? So I have went on a little scavenger hunt and I've gathered up all my 3D objects so that we can kind of have a little show and tell and go over the different kind of 3D objects and shapes that you will be working with for your assignment today, okay? So my first one here, it's a little Minecraft box. So this is the shape and I want you to see all of it. Any ideas what this might be called? It's not a square. It does have square sides on it, right? But what kind of shape is this? Do we know? This is called a cube. A cube is only given to a shape when it's three dimensional and it has all squared sides on it. So yes, there is squares, but this is a cube because it's 3D, which means there's multiple sides that you can see from any angle. So this one is a cube perfectly square, like we talked about yesterday, four equal sides, that is your cube here. The next shape I'm gonna go over with you, do we know what this kind of shape is? It looks like a circle, but do we know the three-dimensional version? This is called a sphere. So a sphere means a perfectly round shape. So this is a ball, it is perfectly round, so that means that if Mrs. Gordon was to throw the ball, it would roll and roll and roll until it eventually stops, right? So this one is a sphere. Can you think of something else that has a sphere-like shape? Um, like a globe. I have a globe in my house that has like all the countries on it, so that is a sphere. Um, any kind of ball is a sphere. So that's just a couple ideas there. Okay, this one, don't make fun of me, right? I do, guys, I had to make a little cone, right? Cause I didn't have a cone. <laughs> so here's my cone, okay? Don't make fun of me. So here's my cone, okay? It's three dimensional. What shape does this most look like? Which one is it most similar to? A triangle, right? Because it has the three sides. Now when it becomes 3D, it becomes what shape? it becomes a cone, right? So like a cone could be like a party hat, I don't know, maybe if you're like a unicorn or a narwhal, you know, you have a horn. That is what a cone is. So cones are like horns, party hats. Um, it's really all I can think about at the moment. I'm sure you have another idea. But that is a cone. Looks most like a triangle. It has that rounded bottom like the sphere does. So it's completely rounded here at the bottom, but does come to a point. Um, at the top. So this is the 3D version almost of a triangle. Next shape here. Okay, we all know I'm a big Harry Potter fan, right? So here's a box of Legos that I have. So I'm going to show you all the sides. Okay, so I haven't put this together yet. I need to do that soon. Now what shape do we see here on the front? Is it a square or a rectangle? Look closely. This one is a rectangle because not all the sides are perfectly the same. They don't all fit. These two sides are the same and these two sides are the same. Here's another rectangle, another rectangle, a different one, right? So this one is all rectangles. And so when you see a 3D rectangle like this, this is called a rectangular prism. Can you repeat that? Rectangular prism. Okay, so this is a rectangular prism. It's 3D, so it's not completely flat. And so this is usually what we see when we see um, cereal boxes or like any kind of packaging like this. It is usually shaped as a rectangular prism here. All right, the last shape here, I went and borrowed Mr. Gordon's drink. So this is a can of soda. Do you know what kind of 3D shape a can of soda is. So it's not a it's not a sphere, right? Kind of close, but it's not quite because it kind of has some of these rounded, longer edges. So it's not a sphere. Mm, not a 
silicone, but maybe if we shaved off the top, it could look kind of similar. It has that rounded bottom like the cone does. So this one is actually called a cylinder. So a cylinder is when you have two straight edges, like kind of, sorry, not straight, like two rounded edges here, somewhat straight depending on how it's drawn. And then there's a circular top and a circular bottom. So that is what makes it different from the cone I just saw you because it does not have a pointy top. If the cone had a circular top on it, like the, like the soda does, then that would make it a cylinder. So that's just a couple examples here. So I'm gonna quickly run over the shapes one more time. Ready? Repeat with me. Cube, okay? Cube has squares that make it up. It is a perfect square, which means it's a perfect cube because it's all the same size and shape. We have a sphere. Spheres are completely round, which means they can roll for a very long time. Okay, what was this one called? Remember Mrs. Gordon's <laughs> little party hat, little unicorn horn? This one is a cone, okay? This is your cone. It kind of has a pointier top and it has that rounded bottom on it. The next shape, do we remember what this one's called? So this is, it has a rectangle and it's called a what when it's 3D? It's a rectangular prism. So say rectangular prism, okay? So like I said, it has a rectangle faces. So I mean, that means the sides and all the fronts and backs are rectangle. And that is the 3D version here. So this is like our cereal boxes and packaging. Last one here, remember my can of soda. This is what shape? Has a circle and the 3D version is called a cylinder. So it kind of has these like straight kind of rounded edges with a circular top and a circular bottom. So that is our cylinder. All right, thank you so much for learning your shapes with me. Like I said, this lesson was really different, but it'll make total sense when you go to identify your shapes today on your Seesaw lesson. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.